In this video, we're going to be doing a performance review of the Nike Invincible number three. What is up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now, the first video we did on the Nike Invincible 3 caused a bit of a stir. You guys got a little bit overcooked on some of the comments and some of it was really nice and some of it was really bad and you guys were chatting down there and it was really awesome so thank you very much for all your opinions all your opinions are, are greatly received on this channel we don't really care about what you say in the comments because at the end of the day that's your opinion and that's really important but it did spark a massive debate so i was very interested really interested in fact to catch up with young simon to find out how he's been getting on with the invincible three Right, so if you didn't see the first video, Simon had bought um, the Invincible 3 off his own back. He was looking for a shoe to just basically eat miles. He was looking for a shoe that's um, not for, like for all his long runs, but he wanted something that could work and basically do a bit of everything. But basically like my Gel Nimbus 25, that's what he was looking for. So he went and got himself the Invincible 3. Now, in that first video, we caught up with him after just the first initial three runs. Uh, but I wanted to come back to him and, and, and come back to you guys and find out how he's been getting on. Now, I think he's somewhere, and I don't know the exact mileage. Um, we'll check because we're going to pop over back to his house. Um, but I think he's between 80 and 100 miles, roughly, uh, in the shoe at the moment. So I thought well, it would be a really good time to go back and find out how he's been getting on with it. I'm going to put up on the screen some of some stats and features of the shoe. I think the biggest takeaway for me is it's 170 pounds and it's got a full length Zoom X in the shoe. Uh, but like I said, the, uh, the stats and features would have been on the screen by now. Uh, in the first video, he was he was struggling with the shoe in terms of the feedback um, and and just the overall yeah, just the that that Zoom X feeling. He I think he was expecting more from it. But I know he's been uh, he's been out there, he's been using it and abusing it. So let's get over to Chateau de Nil, catch up with Si and find out how he's been getting on with the Invincible 3. Right, so we're back at Chateau de Nil, he's here, and like I said at the um, intro, we wanted to come back and do basically a performance review as he's been getting on. So mileage-wise, where are you at? 82 miles. So because I asked him to clock how many miles he's done in them um, to give you a reference point. So 82, yeah. 82 miles, a couple of long runs in there, bit of everything else. Yeah. Where are you at with them? Well, I, I'm, I'm just struggling. We're struggling? Yes. I'm struggling. They, 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 they don't seem to help work for me for easy runs. No. Long runs. No. They're hard to put pace through. You yeah. can do it, but it's like a lot of effort. Have you... Uh, uh, one thing I was going to ask you, because we were chatting about this the other day. Do, you haven't had a run as not... Because some people... Like, on the other video... They were saying about, oh, by the way, thanks everybody, all, all the comments and stuff. Um, did you thank them for all the comments? Yeah, I thanked them. Yeah. Um, they, they love it. They love it. But did you, the heel slip? I never had heel slip. Right, okay, so you've definitely not. I've not had heel slip. I can't. But I'll tell you what I have had. The inside of the shoe. Yeah. Like rubs on the tops of my toes. What, the, the upper? The upper. It feels the like upper, sandpaper. The upper is so coarse, right? It's, it's like, like. It's covered in like a resin, but it's not. It's like they've made them waterproof, but they're not waterproof. It's, look, look, really look, look, it don't, like, it don't flex or nothing. It's so... It's quite rigid, stiff. So you've had, you've been, like, it's tore up your feet a bit? Yeah, a little bit. Just, you know, when you take them, you think, oh, I can notice that. And they haven't softened up either, have they? Since no. the since the first video we did after those three runs, they haven't even softened no, that's up. that's the other thing as well. The Zoom X yeah. over the 82 mile is the same as the day I got them. It hasn't come to you. It hasn't done anything. Yeah, it's still a bit low. Outsole's amazing. You got to be fair. The, the, the outsole is amazing on it. Look, the outsole, you run about a million miles in it. Yeah, look at that. Look, oh, I start. I start brand new, isn't it? Yeah, but the thing is, like near, nearly a hundred miles in them, yeah, and that is like brand new. But the, that's what. Yeah, but that's the only thing. Down the um, canal toe paths. Yeah. Grip wise, okay. Yeah, fine, no problem. The grip right. is fine. You can't knock the grip. Okay, the grip so that's good. good. So your biggest issue is the fact of. They're just not good at anything, or, or to, for me, for you, yeah. They feel dead, dead. Just to, there's no there's, response. There's nothing. You you, <coughs> you think, oh, I slip these on for an easy run, and I'm thinking, oh, do I really want to put them on? Not really. Right. Because it what? Because of the weight, or just no? Just because I'm just like they don't feel easy. <coughs> right. Okay. They don't feel easy. But then you think, oh, let's try and do a bit of a faster run in them, and that don't feel easy either. And so the, yeah, the long run don't. They're just like there's a bit more. There's just nothing to them. Nothing to them. And in the long run, you're like, 
I'll get them off my feet. They're quite, they're, on the long run, I must admit, they're quite warm. Okay. And, that, and it's not warm at the moment. Because there's no point making this video any longer than it needs to be. Because you're eight, nearly 100 miles in them. Yeah. They, they've not really come to you in terms no. of softened up or anything like that. No. Although the Zoomex is relatively soft. Yeah. But there's nothing here for, for you that no, the no, only no. warrants 170 pound. No, exactly. And, and two, like, I think like you summed it up in the first video, they sort of show like, where were your jeans and stuff? And then yeah. maybe go to the gym or yeah. something yeah, like that. Let me think, they're comfortable. Yeah. They've got a good grip. And uh, there's no real slip. But as a running it's, shoe... It's good truth aside. But as a running shoe, there's better. The, 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 I know, like we said, the shoes are wrong price. Mm. But for not, not even the Max Roads, yeah? yeah? You can get a pair of glide rides on, on discount for like... Well, I tell you uh, what... 120 quid, 130 I quid. think, I think, right, you'd be better off getting... Right now, you could get a pair of Deviate Nitro 2's Pumas, right? Yeah. Which has got a, a plate in it, yeah. right? 100 quid. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can pick up a nice pair of, I don't know, Nova Blast free, Nova Blast two threes, whatever. Yeah. Seventy quid or, or Maxro fives. Exactly. Sixty eight quid. Sixty eight quid. You've got one hundred and seventy quid yeah, there, just... and, but you're going to get better out of the, both of those shoes combined. No, it's a thing we said before. You're better off looking at last. Last year's models. Last year's models with all with all shoes. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Just yeah. Not the, that's just but just right. So to conclude. For you, this is this is not a shoe that you'd recommend to anyone. Not for me. It no. works for some people. But not for me, though. No. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. Right. So there you go. Look, eighty-two miles done. It, it didn't work out for whatever reason. It is what it is. I, I tend to agree. Just even looking at that up, it scares me. Um, but you've got to give credit for the outsole. So, but yeah, yeah I'm not. I'm not going to touch them with a barge pole. Um, let us know in the comments how you've been getting them. If you've hit hundred miles or over, how have you found the shoe? Um, we'd be interested to know. Let us know in the comments. Right, that's it. You're done. Oh, right, let's yeah. go. Okay, say bye, boys. Bye, boys. Catch you later.